you sit up here. Honestly. And do this thing. Do some editing. Play some chess. This is insane. Tarbell House, 1870. See, that's what the house used to look like mm -hmm. before. Till that part right there burnt. Yeah. So there's another half of this house mm -hmm. that burnt. Oh man, that's 2007. Look what it looked like compared to today. There's an apartment upstairs is actually rented out. So when you take the tour through the house, you cannot go in the apartment because it's rented out upstairs. Which is they just put that on a couple years now. Uh, a while back they put that new that new square room on. That's insane that house used to come all the way over to here. The historical marker out front. She was best known for breaking up standard oil. Yeah, and, for their book. And you can buy that book in there. She was one of the first women pioneer journalists. And she, she did here. She was like she pioneered investigative journalism. Right, right. So yeah, that's pretty cool. She took down Standard Oil, JD Rockefeller. Basically the monopoly, like you got a company taking over stuff, buying stuff up. She prevented Standard Oil from doing that with all the oil industry I'm around here. Stairwell is insane in these old houses. If you're one of the first to do something like this woman did, like she's seen what Standard Oil was doing, breaking up the monopoly of them buying up all the petroleum companies up around here, making all this money, you're a pioneer. I mean, that's insane, this woman did this. She was one of the first to notice that you cannot buy up all these companies. Maybe, eh, in a greedy way? I don't know if you want to say that. Kind of a greedy way of doing business. I still find it funny like when you drive something, drive by something every day and you're like, eh, you know, you see it every day. It's just a regular occurrence. Something that historical, what this woman did with her journalism is insane and you drive, oh, you got it. You bought two. I had to buy two. <laughs> okay. The history of the Standard Oil Company. That she wrote that one. She that wrote this. By her. Okay, she wrote that. You got a brochure. And taking on the trust. So she took on she took on big business. Yes. In a roundabout way. She took on Standard Oil. Yeah, because they were buying yeah. up all the they were making yep. buku money. Mm-hmm. Nice. That's crazy. Crazy hell. You can't find your car keys and you can't move because you lost your car keys. I did not film purposely in this house. I filmed the cupola. But inside the house, I did not film because I don't think you're allowed. Now, the Oil Region Alliance has filmed in there. And they're the only ones that done it. So I felt like I probably wasn't allowed to film the house. But I did do the cupola. But that's why I didn't show the house. Out of respect, that's why. But I do think it is cool that her dad, Franklin, bought a hotel in Pit Hole, took the wood, brung it over to Titusville, built this house there. Not only half of it exists now, but still very cool. That's pretty cool. And just out of respect, like I said, I didn't film the level four. I don't know if I'm allowed. I mean, if you know, you let me know, I don't know. So I did not out of respect, but pretty cool. Something to check out. It is an old, old house. Very cool. Time period, everything in it is set to the period when the house was built, when she lived there. It's pretty neat, but I'll see you tomorrow. I love you all. Be back tomorrow.